Welcome back to Rival, or I'm sorry, Far Lap. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> um, I am le level nine, which I haven't been on for a while because I've been busy um, doing adult stuff. And I've been watching TV, kind of take a break from it. But um, this is Davika. Uh, she's my only three horse I have right now. Um, I really need another three horse, but I don't have the room for one right now. Um, she's been pretty decent. I'll show you. Oops, wrong one. Wrong button. Sorry. Um, yep, yeah, that button. I hit the wrong buttons. All it was. Okay, this is Davika. Um, she's my only three horse. As you can see, they're Spawn, Sweet Dreams. Those, those are all my horses that I bred. Um, Sweet Dreams and Spawn. Those are all mine. These are all game horses here. Um, I'm gonna go. And then, this is um, Cole. He's still here. He's been undefeated. He doesn't... He's down by one point on um, his speed, but it doesn't really affect him. Um, Stardust and all this, um, these are all game horses. These are game horses. Um, Strategy Song is one of the horses that I had. Um, and I bred Freedom Ring. And then I got Cole. And then um, his Vampire Bites. I I created this horse. As you can see, it's a custom horse. Um, and he can beat my rival. So that's why I got him. And he's, um, I had a, a horse named uh, Vampire Bites on uh, Rival Star. That's why I created him. This is Foolish Pleasure. And he's been really, really nice. As you can tell, he's a... He's a I guess he's a buttermilk buskin. I don't know. I've tried to ask other people. Um, he's either a light buck buskin or a a, a dun. I don't know. Um, wish they had the colors on these horses. <laughs> It'd be a lot easier. Um, anyway, this is his his breeding. Uh, Foolish Devil is one of my horses. These horses are all game horses. Um, Foolish Devil I bought. Um, because she was really good. So um, that's how I got her. And this is Secret Tammy. Um, I bought her. Because she was. She had perfect stats. Um, she was my. I don't remember what her sprint, sprint thing was. I just don't remember. But she was perfect when I got her. Um, this is. Uh. Black Widow. I'll just go do it like this. It'll be a lot easier than going back and forth. Um, as you can tell, she's got some pretty good stats. Um, Secret Tammy is my horse, and Foolish Pleasure is my horse. Foolish Devil is my horse, and then I created Black Black Widow. She's really decent. She's actually better than her mother, um, but Secret Tammy is going to stay because she's a five horse, so level five. Black Widow will probably end up leaving here for too long because um, I got a really nice offspring by her. Um, this is Full of Storm. Um, she's only ran twice because I haven't been on for a while, so that's why. Um, this is Foolish Devil. Um, again, uh, she's really, really nice, so I plan on keeping her because she's got her mother right here, which is Foolish Devil, and she was a really, really nice horse. This is a game horse. These horses are all game horses. Um, this is Laguna Beach. I bought her because she was per she was like minus one on perfect on all her stats. I mean, she was really, really nice. And so I ended up getting her. Um, I paid a lot of money for her too, <laughs> as you can tell. So um, then this is Foolish J-Ho. Um, J-Ho is no longer here. Um... But you can see he had some pretty good stats on his. And I bought him. Um, he was a level 4 horse. Um, I bought this horse. Um, Black Widow, as you can see, it's got Foolish Pleasure and Secret Tammy. Foolish Pleasure may not stay real long. I don't know yet. But, um, so I got Foolish J-Ho. Um, so you can tell all my breedings are in here. I'm going to get rid of these two, hopefully, here soon. So it'll show all just my breedings, hopefully. And he's pretty decent. Um, this is Foolish Chanel. This is a daughter of Foolish J-Ho. 
eventually J Foolish J Ho will leave. But as you could tell, they're all my breedings except for Open Planet and Asteroid Ace are not my horses. The girls are game horses. Um, because Laguna Beach, I bought her. So that's why. Um, but he, she's pretty good. And this is um, Gone West. This is a daughter or a son of Black Widow. And as you can tell, it's got Foolish Pleasure here and then Foolish Pleasure here. So he's actually um, kind of um, overbred. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Um, he's kind of like inbred a little bit, but it didn't really affect the game. But as you could tell, he's only minus one on his perfect stats for a four. And Farlap really doesn't really matter whether you have perfect stats or not because I'm not really competing on live events. Uh, so it's pretty decent. So that's my horses. And I got... This is my last stall, which I'm going to have to let some of these horses go, obviously, because you only have, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stalls on far lap. So um, I'm going to have to let some of the fours and fives go because I just keep my better ones because I'm going to have to start breeding six and sevens and all that kind of stuff. So eventually I will get to that. Um, but right now, I'm not really going that fast on my game. So I'm kind of just going steadily. <laughs> I'm going to wait till a sticks horse gets in here and then I'm going to, that's really good. And then I'll pick one up so I can get a better chance of getting a six. Okay. Um, let me hurry up and do this. And I should have a lot more money. <laughs> it's just because I haven't been on. I haven't really been playing a lot because I've been busy. So um, we're going to test the new Colt. This is probably going to be too slow for him. Too a uh, short race for him. But yeah, because he's like 2,000 <laughs> and very soft. Um, so we'll jump him up, up over here. Um, well, that's not going to work either. Uh, see. see, he likes very soft. I don't know why he's got very soft. Well, he's just going to have to run in it because I really want to test him. Because um, there's really not really many races he can run in. So, um, I don't really think it really matters. It's not like Rival Star where it's you're not really competing against anybody, but um, the game, the game horses, basically. And I'm sorry I haven't been recording for a while. It's just been, I've been busy, and we've gotten a lot of snow here, and it's been a lot going on. Plus, I take breaks, and I play Sims. I play a little bit of everything, so. I really don't think it really matters. I don't know how I got a very soft horse out of all those crossings. But he is real pretty, though. Uh, he's not really black. I think he's more considered like a gray or a dark, dark, like almost black. I don't know. I don't know what. He's fine. I don't think it really matters on the surface. I don't want to put him in two because I haven't um, done his training yet. So, let's see if I can train him a little bit. Decrease his abilities. Let's see. Yeah. Let's up his. Because he's actually really nice. And I know a lot of people say that they don't keep um, a lot of stallions, but 
to me, it's just as this die is just as as important as the mare. Um, so I try to keep both, and I usually get rid of certain ones because I know obviously you need the mares more because that's how you breed. Because obviously you need the mare. But you also need a really good stud in order to um, get good speed horses too. So. Yeah. This dyer is probably going to be away for too long because um, but I want to get another foal out of him before I do. So I want to get a daughter out of him. Because he really did give me a really good full colt out of him. So, j -Ho was really nice, but he wasn't as strong as his son. That's why I got rid of him. So. Alright. We'll bring some of the other bigger horses. <sighs> I haven't really went too, too high last few days because um all day today because i haven't really been playing so i've been kind of like trying to get myself back into it <laughs> before i start racing the harder races <laughs> gallop race is easy you can leave it for a year and you still should keep it really good this one's a little bit more time-consuming than the other one. For one, you don't have all the abilities like, like on Gallup Racer, so... Farlap and Rival Star reminds me of um, G1 Jockey. Um, more than Gallup Racer. Because you can bet, you can, um, which helps you um, get your money up higher. Now, if I don't think a horse can win, I don't bet very much. Um, but Vampire Bites is mainly only for um, to run against the rival. That's the only thing he's for. So I have to keep him in tune so he, could, so he can beat him. Skidding around the track, it's numbered nine. Golden Dance in second position. A length away, it's Tommy Chow. But obviously he's going to have to... The higher you go, the obviously the rival is going to be a little, a little bit tougher. <laughs> so he may not always be with me. <sighs> and I'll eventually retire him. And once my horses start breeding really, really good, because I, I had to restart my game. Um, because, um, I accidentally erased it when I was trying to fix my Sims 4 game, because it was, you know, Sims 4 gets glitchy sometimes and doesn't want to save, and I was having problems, so that's why. Look at the gap on him. This race is kind of too easy for him. Four seven. 